welcome back to the little world of wonders. Well, welcome if this is your first time here. It's a free baby sensory and music class that you can follow along at home. It's designed from newborns up to babies around one years old and it's in effect a follow along. I talk to you as a parent and then you can follow along or mimic or copy what I do with your babies at home. Making sure you guys enjoy that moment, have a nice strong eye connection throughout with them and just have a lovely time. Although I must say I have had a few snapshots and images and Instagram stories of toddlers following along that last week sorry and following along with their little soft toys which I absolutely love which just goes to show anyone can enjoy these sessions right then today's theme is the jungle <laughs> and the props not much props this week that we will need are well I have some sensory scarves here I've just tied three together if you don't have a sensory scarf to hand, or if you only have one, that's absolutely fine. Um, but I know, having a baby in the house, you will have some muslin cloths. So, some colourful muslin cloths, or some tea cloths, anything clean that we can use. This is supposed to resemble a big snake later on. So, that's that. Um, a feather. I have a purple feather here. Um, if you don't have a feather, a clean makeup brush, or anything soft that we can touch baby's skin with later on and this is optional as always I have bubbles um we're gonna sing a little song and have some bubbles play oops a daisy dando the whole bubble mixture has disappeared on the floor I might have to fix that later on anyway the show must go on pause this video now as I will to <laughs> to clean this up and come back and join the welcome song <laughs> two minutes Okay, I'm back and ready to sing the welcome song. Let's go ahead. Good morning, good morning. Open those eyes, reach up and touch the sky. Good morning, good morning. Open those eyes, reach up and touch the sky. Doll. she's my baby for the session and we are gonna place them on our knees because we want to enter the jungle and how do we enter the jungle well, by the river of course so young babies as I always say will need full back and neck support so this might be just enough movement for them but if they're older and want to sit up and just a little support absolutely fine or if they can hold their own, because we're going to be row, row, rowing our boats, you take your baby's lead. So we all know this song. Just follow along with the actions as I said. Right then, are we ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ho, ho, starting to rock. Rock. Rock, rock your boat, gently from side to side, whoop, this way, that way, <laughs> don't fall in, you go, oh no, it's starting to bounce, 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 bounce your boat, merrily along, hold on tight, don't fall in, bouncing all day long, and we're gonna go, splash, <laughs> shall we do it one more time, ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Are we rocking? Rock, rock, 
rock a boat gently from side to side. This way, that way, don't fall in, Nicole. And now we're gonna bounce, 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 bounce our boat merrily along. Up, hold on tight, don't fall in, bouncing all day long. Splash! Ah! And the more you do these little simple nursery rhymes and a bit of lap play, the more the babies or the kids will anticipate what's going to happen next, which is great because they're learning and they're observing and obviously good for their muscular and strength and core muscles. Right then, Rosie. Oh, it's that. It's our big snake. So if you can reach out for your, well, whatever you have to hand, and then we are going to observe what is this there's a blue one a yellow one and an orange one so if you want to sit babies up on your laps or however if they were happy lying down keep them lying down and we're going to take this through their hands all right so rosie can you see we're just going to have a little bit of a play Ooh, does that feel nice and silky through your hands and then you'll feel the little knots coming in. What's that? Oh. Another one. Here we go. Wow. Can you see the colours? Aren't they nice? So now, if you want to place babies on the floor, let me just go back so you can see properly. So gently place them on the floor and make sure you have a nice strong eye connection with baby and maybe take one or if you only have one, one of the colours and just gently Ooh, give it up and down. What's that? And just give a little tick on the face, not too close if they don't like it, but the lighter ones, they're breathable obviously. And up. Whee! Go ahead and maybe put it on your head. Oh, where have I gone? Where have I gone? Beep-boop, beep boop there I am. Shall we do it again? Where's mum? Where's mum? Oh, peek a <laughs> This having a nice little game of peek a is lovely because um, what's the word? Um, object permanence. So they know that you're still there in the room, but you've slightly disappeared when you come back and say, Bebo! Oh, Bebo! So have a little bit of a scarf play. It's simple but effective. Babies love something like this. And the texture of these sensory scarves are really nice for their hands and stuff, and great for tummy time. So now that we have seen the snakes, let's go ahead and see the speckled frogs. So we all know this song. You can keep babies on the floor in front of you so you can have a nice strong eye connection throughout. I'm gonna pop Rosie there for now. But I'm gonna be doing the actions to screen to show you what to do. So, do we all know five little speckled frogs? Are we ready? Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious food. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious food. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are how much? Three green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious food. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious food. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is, oh, one green speckled
speckled frog. Ribbit, ribbit. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious food. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a bit of an effort. <laughs> But if you carry on with these simple nursery rhymes, as I always say, it helps language development in later life and also being a counting song, great for that as well. Well, next is something that's a bit different that we haven't done before, but we would do in an usual baby sensory class. We are gonna get you guys up on your feet and moving around your living room, bedroom, wherever you're watching these videos. So the idea is that you and baby can be walking around, they can be facing out, they can be facing you, you can be rocking them, you can be spinning around, whatever you decide. Because we're gonna be matching along to the song of Walking in the Jungle. So as the lyrics go, you walk around the jungle, walk around the jungle. And every time we stop, we stop with baby, we make a <gasps> surprise face, shh, we shh song. And then there's going to be sound on the screen and we're going to carry on walking again. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, Rosie, I'm going to pop you there because I'm going to be singing the song on the ukulele. So are you ready? Up on your feet with baby and start marching around the room. Are we ready? Walking in the jungle, walking in the jungle. We're not afraid, we're not afraid. around so come and bring yourselves back on the floor with baby if they want to be on their backs facing you or sitting up or on your lap whatever works because we are going to be singing tiny tim and doing hand movements so you keep it if your baby's on the floor you have a nice strong eye connection and do it on the floor like this but for this purpose i'm going to be showing you on the screen so this is my little turtle are we ready and also have bubbles nearby if you want them, but it's not essential. Right. I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate a bar of soap and now he's in his bed with bubbles in his throat. Oh, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Bubbles in his throat, oh bubbles, 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 bubbles in his throat. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, <coughs> he ate a bar of soap, <coughs> and now he's in his bed with bubbles in his throat oh bubbles 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 everywhere bubbles 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 in the air oh look at those bubbles babies shall we sing our bubble song 
Bubbles, bubbles in the air, bubbles, bubbles everywhere. Bubbles, bubbles falling down, bubbles, bubbles hit the ground. Pop, pop, pop. Wow, I'm covered. <laughs> I think this is broken, it's safe to say. There we are. I'll put it over there for now. So that's a nice one. Hand movements, bubbles, a little activity to fill your day. I'm just going to scoot back because believe it or not, we are winding down this session. So I'm going to gently place Rosie on the back. Or if you want to keep them on your knee, that's absolutely fine. And reach out for our feathers. And we're going to have just a gentle baby touch. So start by gently, just with their face, just putting your hands on their face and necks and gently squeezing down their arms. So, so, you can go squeeze down one leg, squeeze down the other leg, and do some gentle body brushing. So the same thing, just gently from the crown of the head down past their face, through the arms, and on their bellies, and on one leg, there we are, and on the other leg, and we're gonna reach out for our feathers or our makeup brushes. It's fallen from the trees of the jungle and gently just tickle their faces. Have that moment with them. Observe what they're feeling. And we tickle those ears. Tickle, tickle, tickle. And go around the other side. So another ear there. Tickle, tickle, tickle. And down the chin. And just slowly down the Oh, is that nice? They're not wearing socks. Where are those little feet? Oh, that feels nice, doesn't it, babies? There we are. Can you feel? And you carry on with this if they love it. Keep going. If they hate it, move on to the next activity. But it's always nice after a sensory session to really wind them down because they might be, this is a sensory overload for them remember if they're young babies, so they might get irritable or they really want to nap after these sessions, which is great for you. So just wind them down and get them sleepy. There we are. Well, that's the end of this session. I'm going to pop Rosie there and bring myself forward to sing the goodbye song. Thank you once again for joining me. I hope these videos have really helped you during lockdown and um, well let's see if we can get out who knows eh cross fingers anyway I'll see you soon bye <laughs>